Live from the Moscone Convention Center in San Francisco, California, it's The Q at Oracle Open World 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor QLogic with support from HGST, Violin Memory, and Mark Logic. Now, here is your host, Stu Miniman. Welcome back to SiliconANGLE TV's live continuous coverage from Oracle Open World 2014, here from Moscone South, uh, San Francisco, California. Uh, three days of live broadcast, we've got two cubes rocking. I'm here in the Logic booth, Stu Miniman with wikibon.org. Uh, it's, it's a who's who in the industry event. Uh, everybody from Mike Krigsman who's walking by uh, the cube here uh, to, to our live studio. Uh, Matthew, you want to bring him in for a minute? <laughs> you have a minute to join us on, on set? We're live on air, so uh, we'd love to get your quick set. We had, uh, we've had uh, lots of industry uh, watchers and everything. One of the things we love about theCUBE going live is uh, we can do some of these things a little bit ad hoc. So uh, while Michael's getting uh, mic'd up here to join me on the set, uh, let's talk a minute about uh, uh, Oracle's keynote uh, this morning. Actually, he's ready to go. So, Michael, hey, I appreciate you. Stu, great to see you. Yeah, Stu. Uh, I, I, we've got uh, the QLogic booth, and then down the aisle, we've got the Cisco booth. We had Ray Wang over there yesterday yeah. giving us some of our insights. So, uh, you know, love about this show is the people you get to see. Yeah. So, while I say uh, this 65,000 person show, there's actually less people that I know as an <laughs> infrastructure guy than some of the other shows. So what brings you Oracle Open World? What's exciting you? What have you been seeing? Well, I tell you, you know what's really interesting was to watch Larry Ellison yesterday, the new chief technology officer. And you could see he's in his element. He loves talking about databases. And I, I wonder whether or not Mark Hurd is kind of signaling a warmer, friendlier, happier Oracle. Oh my God! I, 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 know, I don't believe scare. it. You know, come on, Larry. To, you know, f followed kind of the you know the uh, you know art of war that you know I will kill my comp you know competitor. They're still up there bashing uh, 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 you know some of the competition on the stage. The term that I heard this morning over and over again is you know Oracle builds you know the right solution and everything else is generic infrastructure. Sure. Uh, so I, I don't I don't expect to see a warmer and fuzzier Oracle. Well, let me ask you this. So who's the boss now? Uh, so Larry's still the boss. So Larry's he's the chairman, but yeah, right in his keynote yesterday, he talked about the fact that, oh, nobody's reporting to him anymore, and he can just work on the technology, and I think he likes geeking out on it. I mean, Larry you know, is you know, one of the special people uh, in technology, really understands the technology, uh, you know, gives off that kind of geeky humor, uh, which those of us in the technology space really c can respect, even if we don't love Larry. <laughs> but Mark Hurd is a sales guy and a sales guy has to love the customer and love the message and you know, be a little bit more warm and fuzzy, so can I push back on you a little bit well, about yeah, that? Well, so, yeah, so use that term, love a lot. Uh, <laughs> if looking at the technology world, we fall out of love pretty easily. In, in the old days, you know, people loved IBM for like 40 years. We loved Microsoft for like 20 years. I think we loved Apple for like 10 years, Google for like two years, uh, so it, it's really easy to fall out of love, so can you really love you know, an IT company? Well, let's, all right, so let's back off. You, you got me there. All right. Let's back off from love, and let's just say that the, uh, the, it's possible that Oracle will adopt a pragmatic approach for the cloud age, because the tone, the style, and the culture of the cloud is different from the on-prem world. All right, so, so great point. I, I want to get your viewpoint on something, because if I, I look at uh, you know, the, kind of the inside circle of the cloud. On Twitter, it's like, oh, you know, Oracle's a couple of years behind. They're just now talking about infrastructure server and platform as service. So give us real quick your take. You know, does Oracle have what it takes to compete in the world of cloud, mobile, social, and big data? There's no doubt that Oracle is lagging behind. However, at the same time, think about their core customer base. Their customers are CIOs. And these CIOs are not necessarily at the advanced vanguard of adopting social because it's cool. They have to respond to what their users want, and so if users want mobile and users want cloud, the CIO has to follow behind. And so from that standpoint, you know, we as analysts, we talk, you know, oh, Oracle is behind and everything else. But does Oracle really care about that? 
they care about satisfying their customers. Yeah, I, th I think that's a great point. The point I made so. yesterday in one of our analysis segments was, if they're two years behind where the bleeding edge is, they're still ahead of 95% of the customers out and, there. And that's least. what they care about. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, so focus on the customers, deliver what they need. Exactly. Hey, Michael, I, I appreciate it. I know you've got to run uh, back there. Uh, I'm going to keep going with some Stu, of my it's great intro. To see you. Thanks, Thank uh, you thanks so, much so much for having me. Uh, absolutely. So uh, if I can keep talking a little bit about the keynote this morning, uh, John Fowler talked about uh, Oracle Systems Business. Uh, and uh, what those of us in the industry like to call the red stack. So you talk about a vertically integrated stack, of course Oracle starts with the application and they own what sits at the database uh, and as they, as they drive down, uh, all the way down to the various hardware components. So after the Sun acquisition uh, with the Sun Spark, uh, they, they, they've got uh, storage components from Sun, uh, they've got networking components uh, that uh, th through some of what they did with Sun as well, they've got investments in Mellanox and through some partnerships. Uh, this Oracle owns so many pieces of the stack and what, the, what they try to uh, deliver on is of course giving the best performance, best reliability, uh, and, and the best, uh, simp the, the, the most simple solution for their customers. And uh, the, the conversation I was having with some people is, if you are bought into the Oracle stack, of course, it, you are going to get a lot of benefit. It is easier to use, and as David Floyer, Wikibon CTO, has said, as we integrate up the stack, the further up the stack we go, there's exponentially more value, and it, it allows me to be, uh, handle my environment a lot uh, uh, with a lot less people. So if I buy a full you know, Exadata solution, uh, my IT really needs to just focus on the application itself. And I don't have to worry as much about tweaking uh, the, the, the infrastructure underneath it. And one, one of the greatest sins that we've had in IT today is building bespoke architectures with way too many geek knobs and IT spends so much time just trying to get a little bit more out of uh, the infrastructure and keep it up and running, and it, it's that constant treadmill of, did this, I need to patch it, it, did it break, does it meet what I need, and Oracle wants to remove a lot of those challenges by just saying, hey, here's the full solution, just roll in the rack, going to manage it real simply. Uh, but uh, of course, to be able to do that, if it's all Oracle components, requires a ton of R&D. And even though Oracle probably, Oracle has the most complete stack out there, they can't do it all. So for example, we're, we're sitting here in the QLogic booth. QLogic is a supplier for the fiber channel uh, components uh, in the storage array, they're the front end ports. In the host array, uh, they're, they're the, the, the adapter ports. So, you know, it, it's never that I'm going to be able to do it all myself. Uh, of course, Oracle has partnerships with Intel, so they do plenty of x86, they don't just do Spark. So it, it's never that Oracle can do it all alone. And as I look at things like Moore's Law, and, and I look at the, the growth of open source and commodity components, I find it hard to see how Oracle can continue to build on so many different pieces that just uh, re require a huge amount of resources. Uh, the uh, Market, the merchant silicon components uh, just get so much more volume, and open source gets the leverage of everyone working on it. So it's difficult for Oracle to be able to maintain leadership in all of those different components, and while uh, they, they can get a premium uh, for putting it all together and delivering a simple solution and owning the full stack, you can play a little bit of games as to where the, the revenue comes from and where it goes in the business, but it, it's tough to keep that going. Uh, definitely something that you know, we continue to look at, uh, make sure that users are getting the simplicity that they need, as well as not being raked over the coals for licensing or being squeezed too much on pricing. And of course, if you have complete control of the stack, uh, you have a lot of leverage over the customers. So, lots of things we want to dig in in the rest of our coverage here at Oracle Open World, talking plenty more about what's going on in cloud, uh, the network, uh, the application and database world, uh, plenty of big data going on. Uh, I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon. Uh, go to siliconangle.tv as always to see our, our current events, past events, where the cube's going to be. If you're ever at these events, we love you to come check us out in person. Uh, always looking to get feedback from the community. Uh, and uh, th there's lots of research going on on wikibon.org and all of the news coverage on siliconangle.com. So, uh, that's the uh, intro segment here from, from day three, wall-to-wall -wall coverage from Oracle Open World. We'll be right back with our next guest after this quick break.